Pearson Air Museum in Vancouver, Washington. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Are our high schools preparing our kids to meet future job demands? Well, our next guest has some questions about that. Please welcome Dennis Campy, director of Clark County Skills Center. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you. For Clark County Skills Center is celebrating its 30th year and you've been there well since the beginning. That's correct. Tell me how what, well, first of all, tell me about the Skills Center and how tough a sell it was to get it started in the community. Well, uh, initially when we started the Skills Center, the uh, demand came from the employing community. They were looking for a source for technically skilled employees. So there was some hard sell. It was new, a new concept in this community. So in, in some cases, there were people that were resistant to uh, the status quo that we had at that time. Let's tell everyone these are high school students. That's correct. And they spend half the day at the Skill Center, half the day in their high school. That's right. Okay, so now, now that we have, we have the foundation, let's, uh, so the community is, is really the impetus behind starting the Skill Center. It was the emphasis behind starting the Skill Center and it still remains a, a strong point. Uh, we have over uh, 250 people that are volunteers that advise each one of our 14 technical programs so that we keep connected to the needs of the employing community. It started with 280 some odd uh, students. students and now you have over a thousand? Yep, 1,050 students. And it's self-sustaining? Uh, we operate out of our own budget. In other words, we are funded uh, through the state like we would any public school. Uh, but we fund all of our, our own needs, gas, water, sewer, all of the expenditures uh, come out of our budget. So we are self-sustaining, yes. And tell me about the programs, the partnerships. Uh, partnerships are, are a real uh, important component of what we do, and it's more so today than it was, let's say, 30 years ago. Uh, we have strong partnerships in most of our programs. Uh, we're sitting in a partnership on a future program that we're gonna start in the aviation industry. And in fact, I wouldn't consider that the uh, uh, Pearson Air Museum to be just a partner. They're a strong partner in the startup of an aviation program that we hope to open to enrollment for students in the fall of 2014. You're going to offer the aviation program. You have construction. What else can a student learn? Well, we have 14. That'll be 15 programs. So uh, there's everything from fire science and construction and auto diesel, auto and diesel to culinary arts to engineering, dental assisting, nursing. Uh, just to name a few. It seems like a model that is working very well and much needed, mm -hmm. but you say the state is preparing our high school students in a way that you don't see uh, the, the, as the right way for the future. Well, I think that uh, we, we need to take a look at the demands in our, in our country and in our state. And there are reasons for education. One of them is socially. The more educated we are, the better off we are socially. But there's also the economic side huge demand now for technically skilled young people or employees coming into the, the workforce. Um, I believe that our State Board of Education is looking too much to preparing all students, and they'll use that term, all students, to be prepared to enter into a four-year college or university at graduation. We need to be comprehensive and serve the needs of all students in whatever direction they want to go in post high school. There are 13 of these skills uh, high schools That's throughout the state of Washington. Yes. You know of one in Oregon and it seems like a model that that is definitely needed. I think it is. It's uh, there, there are career and technical education programs in all the school districts in Washington state. We are sitting in the middle of uh, nine school districts that are a part of this. Our objective is not to compete with the programs they have but to enhance uh, programs that they may not be able to start on their own. As an example, a culinary arts program where you have hundreds of thousands of dollars of equipment in there, it's tough for a small school like a Le Center or Richfield to be able to have that type of program. Well, you provide uh, much needed uh, education and we appreciate you joining us to tell us about the Skills Center. Thank you very much, Dennis Campy, and thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. Make it a great day.